Hi there, today I'll be sharing with you how I melded my two passions together, my love of reading and my love of scrapbooking. Join me as I take you through a creative journey of scrapbooking what I've learned from one book. I will show you how I catalog the words of wisdom and interwove them into a collage of pictures and my own thoughts and feelings. If you're new to my channel, my name is Christine and I love to scrapbook, create cards and journal. If you like content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button below, click the notifications bell so you won't miss any of my projects. So here it is, I'll show you what I've done. Today I'll be sharing with you my rendition of a creative book journal. This is taking any literature you're reading and cataloging the information or any insights that you've gotten from the book into a scrapbook album. I love to read parenting books and health and wellness books. And most often they provide a wealth of knowledge that I can't help but record. Really, we are a conglomeration of what we read and I really want to create this legacy where in the future, if I look back or my children look back on this album, they'll not only see photos, but also information that shaped my thinking at the time and contributed to our family value system. So last year, I fell in love with 49 and Market's paper collection and stamps. This particular series is the Vintage Artistry Collection, which I find extremely soothing and beautiful to look at. The album is actually a journal binder that you would typically add journal paper or daytime inserts that were actually sold with this. But I opted for making my own inserts with the 49 and Market Paper series. And all I did was just cut up the paper and add it into the album. Now, one of the things I love to do is because there's so many slots in this journal is I made tabbed inserts. And because it's vintage, I had to have postcards. So before I actually purchased postcard stamps, I ended up just Googling and printing off vintage postcards off of the internet. And it was just a great way of just cataloging any important information that I wanted just to have out there in the album. And what I usually challenge myself with on a regular basis when I do projects is I like to use different techniques or learn def different techniques or use scrapbooking tools that I've never used before. And if you are going to dive into this kind of scrapbook journaling, I recommend that you purchase a bunch of journaling stamps. In this case, I used the Tim Holtz School Desk Stampers Anonymous stamp set. And I used that stamp throughout the album. I also used a wooden stamp that I really enjoy, and that's this one here. Again, vintage in nature. I really liked it. I hadn't used it until now, so it was great that I could actually use that in some of my crafting. One of the things I really liked is that I fussy cut a lot of butterflies. Instead of just adding gems to them, I found this metal wire, and I think it's metal wire from jewelry making, and so I used that to embellish the butterflies. One of my big, big loves is this Recollections metal tabs, and I really like it for defining or separating the chapters. And again, if you're into scrapbook journaling, having tabs like this, for example, this one is from Stampin' Up. I think they still have it, it's old, but I also used this in conjunction with other tabs that I'll link below. This is a really good stamp here. I got it from my best friend. It's a stitched stamp. And because of the detailing, one of the things I like to use, one of my favorite inks to use for detailing stamps is the VersaFine. In this case, I used the Smoky Gray. And then after I stamped a lot of the 49 and Market stamped images, I really, really liked using this shimmer on top of the ink, which I found was just beautiful. It really added more dimension and depth to the images. Now, one of the things you'll notice is that a lot of the vintage papers will have this paint splash or paint smear effect on it. And if you can get your hands on stamps like this, I think you'll use them a lot in your crafting. So keep an eye out for stamps like this. I'll, I'll link some of the ones that I used below. And then I also made sure that I inked the edges of my pages. In this case, I used the Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Weatherwood and the frayed burlap. And then any inserts that you see like this, those are 
of the ephemera that came with the paper pack. Now, the one thing I really, really enjoyed doing was creating a tapestry effect on one of the pages, and that was just punching holes in the page, adding eyelets, and then weaving some embroidery floss between the eyelets. And then what I did was, again, use a die that I hadn't used ever until now, and this one is the Sissix Decor Frames by Tim Holtz. And you'll see here, the paper also has this washi tape effect on some of the beaches. So you'll see that I try to use that throughout the album is add pieces of washi tape everywhere. One of the things with this album is that I went crazy with embellishing. So I ended up running out of space and I wasn't done cataloging information from the book. So I ended up getting another album. In this case, it was a journal. The cover of the journal is actually woven thread. So it's, it's got a really, really neat texture to it. Now, the biggest challenge that I found was I wanted it to match the 49 and market paper. And so I inked, stamped, stenciled my heart away and tried to get these pages to look quite similar to the 49 and market paper. And I, I think I did an okay job. I designed about five to seven different pages. And then what I did was I repeated that same pattern throughout the book. And again, to maintain that cohesive look, I still did the tapestry of pictures. I still used washi tape. I still used butterflies and any extra ephemera that was left over, I used that in this album. Now, one of the things that I don't like to do is waste paper. And so what I did was I took any extra pieces of paper and I made cards out of them. Because my biggest thing is whenever I see a friend for coffee or go to someone's house for dinner, I like to bring wine and a care package of note cards. And as always, I like to embellish the envelopes and I'll leave a link to these stamps below. Incorporate that into your scrapbooking and, and make it feel like a, a true legacy that's left behind. I hope you really enjoyed this. Take care and we'll see you soon. Bye.